Okay, so I am outside. Well, first, let me do my intro. Hi, uh, I forgot even how to do it, I'm so nervous. Hi guys, I'm Ann and today we have a little like sit down chit chat. The scenery is a little different. I am outside in my backyard. I live in Jersey, South Jersey to be exact. So the trees are a little different, you know. This tree right here is a big significant of uh, the story time that I'm going to do today. I am furthest back on my property. Okay, so if you look over here, you'll see the cars. Before the cars is the fence in my house. So like I'm all the way back at the end of the property. I have not sat back here over 35 years, that's the truth. And I will explain why. So if you can see like all oh, this is so old, you could just break these, they're all dry. Like um, nothing has been really done back here in so many years. This tree here, I'll um, take the camera and show you guys, but it's over a hundred years old. The house here was built in 1901 and this was already on the land. So a lot of the trees here are really, really big. Um, and up this way is more greenery and stuff like that. When I first moved back in this house, what, almost two years ago, this part of the yard has not been raked or anything in probably over 40 years because you guys know this was my mother and grandmother's house. You're gonna hear a lot of noise because all the way back here is like a dirt road and that's access to everybody's backyard because I live more in the city part. So in the front, it's not like you don't have driveways, you park on the street. So then everybody has where they could park in the back. Um, so you might be hearing that as well. Um, as I film more out here, I'll get better with like the sound and stuff like that. I, I know it's a little windy today, so the camera's shaking a little bit. I have to purchase something or rig it so that it can stay. So it'll get better in time. I just wanted to at least um, start, you know. So anyway, um, like I was saying, so when my husband moved in here with me, you know, we were separated. It literally took him probably two to three weeks of every day for hours raking. When I tell you over 40 years, like I said, this was my mother and grandmother's house. And you know, they were on hospice, they were disabled, they couldn't do the backyard. And I moved, this was my childhood home. And I moved out of here when I was 17. I came back and forth, of course, you know, but like I was 23 when I moved out permanently. So I'm 46 now. So I could tell you for at least 20 years, nothing's been done. And prior to that, nothing's been done to this part of the, the yard. So we literally had, I think like a box of those 30 gallon like leaf bags. Uh, what do you get? Like the big ones, you can get like 80 in there. I think we went through like four or five five boxes so count how many hundreds of bags of leaves because it's been that many years um and just different things uh you know we actually had to take the bags to the dump because it was so many of them right so everything now looks really nice back here i just haven't like planted flowers or like if you guys can see things are hanging because i haven't got to that far yet but i'm going to so let me explain why I haven't been back this far. So like I said, I grew up here. This is my childhood home. And this tree right here, which like I said, I'll show you towards the end. You'll see like a little video. Um, I used to have a dog named Sheba and she was tied to this tree. She did on the other side of the tree have a dog house. She was an outside dog and she wasn't fixed. So she was always getting pregnant. You go where I told you that dirt road is, okay, on the side of it is now a fence. Never used to be a fence and you could go down the hill and stuff. Let me hold that white, it's blowing. And being under a tree, it's not helping. Um, you were able, oh, what did I do? Let's see. Okay, you were able to go down there and it's a lake. So like I'm like seven, eight, nine years old and every time Sheba had her puppies, my grandmother's husband, who's not my biological grandfather, would take the puppies and go to the lake and drown them. 
Um, I, I should probably put a trigger warning on here. I won't get too graphic, but I remember as a kid, I can hear the puppies crying. I don't know why they just think a dog fixed. Um, and then I remember one day coming home from school and I'm like, oh, where's Sheba? And you know, like my grandmother said, oh, well we had to put her down because she kept getting pregnant. We couldn't take care of her. I can only imagine what happened, okay? Um, now her husband was, um, he, he was a drinker, a drunk. And he was a gambler. He used to go to Atlantic City, get drunk. I mean, he'd be mugged and everything and still go back over there. And he was a mean drunk. And, um, you know, she was scared of him. So she did, I mean, you know, I'm not going to get into that because my grandmother's no longer living or the man, you know. Um, and as he got older, when he aged, he, he started, you know, to get really nice because he was very sickly, you know. But there are just things that I can remember that my grandmother went through, things that I seen. So even though that is why I can't come to this area because every time I do, it brings back the memories and I can hear the puppies and I can, you know, like I remember they had this one dog and when he would come home drunk, he'd kick the dog and break the, like it was, it was bad. Okay. And so, like I said, I, I, I just can't, and I'm trying to, I want to make this yard here back here positive. So I figure if I start filming, I know it's not like a great scenery, you know, might look a little creepy <laughs> until we fix it up, you know. Um, I want to have memories of other than what that memory was, if that makes sense. Because I should be able to enjoy my whole yard, right? Because it is beautiful. I love New Jersey's trees. I just love them. And so, like I, like I told my husband, I want to, like, get flowers and different things and then fix this all up so it looks pretty. But also, I thought it would be a good scenery instead of my backdrops all the time. Like, I, I do apologize for, like, the shaking. You know, if I can see it shaking. And then I thought natural light is the best light. You can really get to see what I look like. Do you know? And I could be further back eventually. I will have a table that's further back so you can see more of my body instead of usually, like, from here up. <laughs> Because since I film in my room and the bed is right there, you know, behind my backdrop, I can't sit back so far, right? So that, that's why you, it seems so close up. So that is the story of this tree in my backyard. And it's so old, but it's still in really good condition, you know? Um, I am sitting like on a slurp. I don't know if you could see because my husband has to fix it like the dirt is real soft back here So like when you sit like it goes down and then it goes like this So we'll fix all that but I'm like I don't want to keep waiting because if I do then I won't Film out here, you know what if that, if that makes sense so um, I do want to say though, like I said, as he did get older and when he passed, he, he, he became very nice. He was good to my grandmother and different things, but you know, growing up, it's just certain things that you remember and it's like, I can't get past it. That makes sense. Like when my husband was cleaning up over here, I actually seen like the uh, chain that was in the ground and I like had a, a like, I had a, like an episode if that makes sense, you know? So like I said, I, I want to, I want this to be happy place for me right because it's been 35 years i gotta get over it you know i do have my water here my water bottle already fell so i've been drinking plenty of water i haven't had soda because like okay you guys know what was going on with my health and pepsi was my downfall yes it was i would drink pepsi every day and then like you know i would have to take a sip here and there and I haven't had soda in like three days. And usually like I can have like like a regular like soda bottle and it would last me sometimes two days. It wasn't like I drank a lot of Pepsi, but I would have to have a sip every day. It was like I was addicted to it or something in my head. Um, I'm trying to get away from coffee. I, um, I only drink coffee once a day when I first wake up. Um, so now I'm on decaf, but it's like a head thing. I don't feel right if I don't have my cup of coffee. I feel like my whole day is messed up. And I don't know why, because it's not like it's the caffeine. It's a mind thing. So that's my next step. And I'm doing really, really well. One thing I do want to address. I'm going to sit over here because like I'm on a sl slope. I do want to address in the um, last video that, you know, you can hear what the doctor said and everything. I'll link it down below in case you haven't seen it. Um, I had said at the end, you know, I had my son in the car, Isaiah, he's 17, and I said, you know, we were going to Applebee's. And there were a few people that made comments, not me, 
but we're like, oh, I'm surprised you're going to Applebee's, which just happened to you, if you don't know. In the month of March, I did have a mild heart attack, and then April 1st, April Fool's Day, but this is no joke, I had to get a stent put in because my one artery was 99% blocked. So now I'm like on a cardiac diet, and I am diabetic, so I do have to go to start going to a nutritionist and stuff like that. But, you know, so there were a couple comments like, oh, you're going to go to Applebee's? But I never filmed an outro. Now, I know I don't have to explain myself, but I do want to say, you know, like, I, I had a salad and water. Just because I'm going, like, my son is not on a diet, right? So just because I go places with my family, that doesn't mean I'm eating, like, fried chicken or fried, you know, like, fried foods like I normally do, right? So just don't always assume, you know, that I'm doing something bad, but... I wanted to spend some time with him. I asked him what he wanted to do. He wanted to go out to eat. I'm like, where do you want to go? He said, Applebee's. And what happened to me, I noticed how sure our lives can be. We never know what tomorrow can bring. I can go to sleep tonight and not wake up. Same as my children. So when I do have time to spend with them and he just wants to go to Applebee's, it's like, why not, right? So, you know, and then there were a couple comments about like, cause I made like a, a when I made my fried chicken, right? Now, not mean. It's only you guys are looking out for me. So I, I am I am not offended. But you guys are right. Like I need to start cooking better. Even though I'm not eating it, my kids are eating it. You know, my, my husband's eating it. So they're not eating healthy. You know, what I have is more genetic. See, what I have with my heart, the reason why what is going on with my heart is because of my diabetes. I was diabetic at the age of 18 and I didn't take care of myself. I, 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 I didn't take insulin for years, right? That caused heart issues and different things. I've said this before, just in case you don't know. You know, the reason why I have the blocked arteries is because you have cells in your body. Just, I'm not a doctor, so I'm trying to explain so that you can understand. And your pancreas is what produces the insulin. And when you're diabetic, it's because your pancreas doesn't produce a lot of insulin, sometimes none, right? Mine produces a little bit, but not a lot. Okay, and then you have the cells, right? So like when you have to pee, okay? So it goes, you know, to your kidneys, to your bladder, and then you pee it out. And then you also pee the cells out, right? It goes down. Because in your pancreas, let's say that's a door, so your door's open. So everything goes through, right? And then goes down to your kidneys, your bladder, you pee it out. Well, when you're diabetic, that door is closed, right? So the cells have no way to go down. They're not, you're not peeing the cells out. So where does the cells go? They go, it's like a ping pong and they go up, up. And they go to your heart, they go to the arteries and then they hook together, which causes, causes the blockage. And these cells are when your sugar is not being controlled, right? So I'm just using that, you know, as for you just to understand. And so even though with your sugars up, and like for me, I didn't feel bad, but I had to pee all the time. Um, or I would sweat or whatever the case may be. I didn't realize I was so ignorant. I didn't realize what it was doing to my body. And because of that caused me cardiovascular disease. I have early stages of heart failure now. I have, you know, just different things because I didn't control my health. And a lot of it is genetic, but a lot of it is because I didn't take care of myself, right? And I need to do better for my family. So, you guys are right. I need to start cooking better. Now, am I going to say I'm never going to fry some chicken? No, I, that, would, that would be a lie. You know, also, the way that you eat is a culture thing too, right? Uh, if you're Hispanic, you know, I have a friend who's Hispanic, you know, she's Puerto Rican and every meal, every day, she, she has some kind of rice, rice and beans, white rice, whatever the case may be. That's how she was raised. That's how her parents were raised. You know, that's how she's raising her children. It is a culture thing. Um, you know, how I, when I became an adult and had my kids and who I was with, it was like fried foods, like soul food. And you know, um, if you're Italian, you eat a lot of pasta, that's carbs. It is a cultural thing too. And sometimes it is hard to break old habits, but I must, I must. Um, because if something happens to me, my kids have nobody. They really, really don't. Um, so I need to do better and I need to get my kids healthy so they learn, right? Now let me know also how the lighting is. It's about, let me look at my other phone here. 
it's 2.58, today is Saturday, April 16th, the day before Easter, and I am on the retreat, so it is going to cause some shadiness. And let me know the lighting, how it is, because I can always get another ring light to put out here or some kind of light. But like I said, this is the first time I am filming right here, so you have just let me know. It's not going to hurt my feelings. I won't know if you don't tell me. My husband has been outside because it's been nice out in Jersey, and I could watch him. He's been... Let me, can I just tell you something? I hope he doesn't watch this video. I have been milking this. So April 1st, <laughs> I had my stent put in, right? They went in through my groin. They did. They couldn't put it through my wrist because whatever he did, because uh, they do it on your right side, he felt my artery here and he was like, it was too small. He didn't want to take the wrist. So that's why, he, that's why it was done in my groin. But I am milking it. And because like the, at first, you know, you can't do a lot of stuff. You can't pick up anything over 10 pounds, right? Well, it's been what? Almost three weeks. The 21st will be three weeks and I'm milking it. Can I just tell you, I've only done the dishes once. I haven't vacuumed yet. Like my family, my kids, and my husband's been doing it. So I do feel bad because he's been like for days now, he's been out doing the yard, getting the weeds, like the side yard, the front, the back. And like, I just watch so like I say, oh, well, let me help you. He's like, no, 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 sit down. I'm like, okay, you don't have to tell me twice. Uh, so yesterday, <laughs> I didn't want to do the dishes. And I was like, he was like, oh, how you feeling? I'm like, oh, well, I got a little cramps, my leg. He's like, oh, sit down, sit down. I'll do the dishes. I'm loving it. Eventually, he's going to catch on. When he went to the uh, heart doctor with me, the doctor said, you know, May 1st, you can start doing everything. So it's like, I got one more week to milk it change the subject hey babe I was just talking about you saying how you've been working real hard yeah. you good yeah, now I'm recording but I got to get something here because the camera keeps like the wind and stuff so I need something to like keep it in mm-hmm I don't know, but I'm just talking in case it falls. That has nothing to do with it. If it falls, the wind is shaking it. And I need to like dig, we need to, you, well, you need to like dig something because like I'm on a slant. So that way I'm straight. All right. He's a very good man. He's very, very good to me that way. Even if I wasn't sick, I've always told you guys, like, I never have to pick up anything. He even trained my boys that way. If I go to the grocery store, I pull up, I call them, or I just go in the door and I call the boys, Tyler, Isaiah, you know, and or my husband, I'm like, babe, you know, and then they just go get the stuff. If they catch me carrying anything, they like literally yell at me like, mom, what are you doing? So I'm very lucky that way. But when I tell you, but let me just tell you, they won't clean. I don't think I've ever seen any of them like scrub the bathtub. They will do the dishes and they will vacuum, of course, keep the room clean, stuff like that. But like cleaning, dusting, no, no. And my daughter, she's 21, she'll be 22 in July. So she's like always out. So her thing is, I, I just tell her, make sure you keep your room clean because she has a ferret and a, uh, what is that thing she has? Charlotte, Char uh, it's like a lizard. What the hell is it? Oh, I can't think. It's a small one. Um, and so just keep them clean because a ferret can stink. But she does. She cleans it almost every day and stuff like that. So that is her job. I am like, I'm not going to stay on her too long because like I feel myself go down and I keep doing this. And um, yes, yeah, so I was talking to my husband. And we're going to fix this today. So I was going to film another video, but I'll do it tomorrow after we fix this, um, find something to stable this so I can have it out so you can see more of like my body. So like, do you know what I'm saying? I'm going to clean this up a little bit because like, look, see, it just, it looks, I know it looks bad over here and get it a little bit more, you know. So I'm going to show you what the tree looks like. That way I'm going to go. But I wanted to make my first video out here and tell you about this tree and why I'm so nervous. Like, I, I, I am. After what happened to me really, really made me think, guys, like, I need to face my fear. I'm getting a car. I'm not going to worry about, because I can afford the car payments. But it's like, when it comes to me, I don't do stuff for myself. I'm like, oh, well, that money can go somewhere else. No. Um, 
and I'm just gonna start doing things more, walking every day. Let me know down below, I was thinking about taking you guys with me when I walk and just have a chit chat as I walk, you know? Let me know if that's, you'd be interested in that type of stuff and maybe it will help you guys too and get you guys to start being motivated, you know what I mean? So let me know, but let me show you. So this is the tray here. It looks bigger in person. Let me show you what it looks like up, see? So it does have some green. I don't know, I'll have to figure it out when I edit, like what you could see and what you couldn't see. <laughs> and, um, all right, I'm gonna get off of here because this is uncomfortable. I have one of these like plastic chairs um, that you'd put like on your porch or something. So I'm gonna get like a nice, more comfortable chair for outside and a better table, like probably a plastic table. So that way if it rains or anything, and yeah, let me know any recommendations how I can make this look a little bit more prettier. And there's only but so much you can do, but um, let me know. And thanks for listening to me. If you made it this far, leave a heart emoji. Doesn't matter what color. I like the purple one, but if you like the red, the blue, whatever, that way I know you made it all the way through. And um, I really appreciate you. And thank you for coming on this journey with me. It means so much to me, it really, really does. I can't tell you enough. All right, guys, please like this video. It really does help me out or dislike it. Leave a comment. Let me know how your day's go going. <laughs> Get it out, Ann. Let me know what you think of these videos. Like I said, I know you can hear like the cars go by. It's like I'm all the way at the end of the property. So I don't know if I get a microphone, but I don't know if then you'll hear more of the sound. I'll figure it out like in due time. Just, you know, give me some time to figure it out because I've never ever filmed outside before. But yeah, that's everything, guys. Stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay healthy, and most importantly, always stay you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh my God, I did it, I did it. I cannot believe that I sat out here. I can do it, I can do it, I know I can, I know I can. I've seen a snake. See, that's what I'm petrified of, snake and bugs. That's what I'm scared of. But I can do it, Ann. You're a big girl. You're 46 years old. Put your big panties on. <laughs>